In 2014, my father was killed by somebody. One morning he was there and the next he was gone. And I was really searching for ways that I could keep communicating with him, keep talking to him, being able to get guidance from him. My dad was the closest person I had. We were best friends. We talked about everything. And one morning your best friend is there and the next moment he's gone. And it was so hard to process through all of that grief, but I knew that there had to be a way for me to still have him in my life. I knew that there had to be a way for me to be able to talk to him, to get something from him, a message, a symbol, a sign, a word. Now, I had never had a psychic or mediumistic experience at any point in my life. You hear stories about these beautiful mediums on TV or you read their books and they tell you about all the experiences they had as a child, their family coming to see them, them seeing spirits, them seeing ghosts, them talking to those on the other side throughout their whole entire lives. And I never one time had any experience like that, but I knew in my heart that there was a way I could learn I knew in my heart there was a way that I could still connect to my father and talk to him. And so I set out on a journey to learn how to become a medium. And of course, I was really scared because you hear these stories that you have to be born as a medium. You have to be born that way. And the best mediums are born that way. And it's nothing that you can learn. And I knew again in my heart that that was not true. I knew there had to be a way that I could still keep my father close to me. One of my best friends that I had known since kindergarten when I was five years old died three days after my father. And I wanted to be able to talk to him and still experience his fun, energetic nature. I still wanted to talk to him and be close to him. And I knew that if I worked hard and I tried, I could become a medium. I just knew it in my heart. I didn't let the naysayers and I didn't let the judgments and the fears stop me. And I didn't let those thoughts of you can't do this, this is wrong, get in the way. I knew that I could work hard and learn. So I went online and I started researching mediumship. I read almost every book you can get your hands on about mediumship. I would pray to my father and I would pray to my friend Tommy and I would talk to them and I would ask them to help me. I would talk to my grandmother and I would ask her to help me and I would talk to my dad's parents and I would ask them to help me and I felt so good and so alive when I was talking to them, even though at the time I didn't know how to connect for mediumship. I was just talking out loud to them. And the fact of talking out loud to them, asking them for help, asking them for their guidance, asking them to show me the way of how I can still connect to them, asking them to show me mediumship and how I can do it. Like just the act of talking to them out loud and expressing my love to them, expressing my gratitude to them felt so good. I felt connected to them. And through that feeling of connection, I knew that I could connect more. And so as I was researching, reading all these books, I was diving into podcasts. I was diving into YouTube videos. The grief of losing my father took me two years to process through. And so I think that, and I believe that, we are heavily blocked by our grief. Grief is a, is a lower vibrational energy, and I believe that we are blocked. And so I know throughout those two years that it was very difficult for me to be able to make a connection, to feel close to anyone. Even in my real physical life, I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to talk to anyone. So if you are watching this video, grief takes time and I don't want you to rush through that. But I want you to know that you can learn mediumship. I am living proof of that. I never had a mediumistic experience. I never had a psychic experience. I never saw spirits. I never talked to them. I never felt them. And I taught myself how to be a medium from zero. So Fast forward to 2019 and I'm at a restaurant and I was at a lower point where I just felt 
really sad. I did not want to go out. I did not want to be there. But all of the forces aligned to where I really didn't have a choice. My friend was meeting me there. And when I tried to call and cancel, he didn't answer. So I didn't want to leave him stranded. And then as soon as I got there... I texted him that I'm not feeling well and he was pulling into the parking lot already. So again, I didn't have a choice. And looking back, I know it was all set up that way. It was supposed to be that way. And through my asking, through my talks to the universe, through my talks to God and to my friend and my family and spirit, I feel like they led me here. I feel like I was pushed into this scenario because it's what lit a fire inside of me so deep so bright, so beautiful, that got me on the journey that I'm on. I was in this restaurant, and I've made videos about it before, so I'm just going to briefly go over it, where my friend that I was meeting there, his friend was a server, and she had been serving us, and we'd been eating. We did not drink alcohol, none of that. And as soon as we get up to leave and go outside, I immediately felt like I had to go back in, but I didn't know why. I had this huge urge, like, you have to go back inside. You have to. And so, again, I feel like my, my family, my friend, they aligned this whole thing and they shoved me into mediumship without any preparation, without any practice. They just shoved me. And as soon as we went back inside, I looked at my friend's friend who was our server who had been serving us for two hours and I felt and saw and sensed nothing and I'm like I need to go talk to her and so as soon as I walked up to her I could feel her mom standing right here and I knew it was her mom and I was getting information I was getting an initial of her name I was getting how she died I was getting other personal details and I'm like oh my god and so Luckily, she was really receptive. She let me tell her what I was experiencing and everything was correct. And so I'm freaked out at this point. We end up going outside and as soon as we walk outside, her grandmother comes and her grandmother starts talking about things that are happening in her home that are true, talking about her brother who's still alive that was true. And again, I'm just utterly, utterly in shock. Like if my chin could have literally been on the ground, it would have been on the ground and so from that moment on I made it my mission to learn how to become a medium to practice mediumship to be the best medium that I could be and over the last five years I have had this deep calling and passion to help people who want to connect for mediumship I have had this desire to create these videos, to create courses, to create content and books to help you learn, to help you know that even if you've never had a mediumship experience or even a psychic experience, you can learn and I am proof of that. I knew in my heart that I could. I had a calling in my soul and in my heart to explore that and to not listen to people saying you have to be born that way and to not allowing that fear and judgment to stop me from finding what I knew was in my heart and yes I can talk to my dad I can talk to my friend Tommy my grandparents my grandmother for my mom talks to me all the time I'm always giving my mom messages for her um a quick funny story is that my dad and I, we used to ride motorcycles together. And when you're on a motorcycle, you obviously just can't talk like you could in a car. So you have hand signals. And for a motorcyclist, when you top the top, the tap of tap, the top oh my God, of your helmet, it means, hey, there, there's a police officer, you know, doing radar. And I remember being on the freeway here where I live and all of a sudden my dad popped into my mind. I could see him in my mind and he was doing this. And I thought, okay, did I make that up? This was like right around the beginning when I was learning and practicing and connecting to him. And I said, okay, let me slow down because I was speeding. Let me slow down just because, and I kid you not, two bridges up, there was a police officer doing radar. And... I'm getting the chills. I knew in that moment right there that I had stumbled upon, gotten into, followed the best decision of my life to learn how to become a medium. 
And I love sharing my story. I love helping you guys connect to your friends and family. I love helping you learn about mediumship. I love helping you know that mediumship is not just for the gifted. Mediumship is not just for people who are born that way. We're all born that way. You have a soul. I have a soul. The soul of your friend or family, loved one in spirit, their soul is still fully and completely intact. And it makes sense that that soul can communicate with this soul. It makes sense that their soul can communicate with your soul. And so I don't want you to give up on your mediumship desires or journeys. If you've never had a mediumship experience, you can learn. You can do it. It takes effort. It takes work. It takes time and practice. It takes your heart to be in it fully, but you can do it. I've become a professional medium. I don't just connect to my friends and family now. In the beginning, that was my desire, was to connect to my friends and family. And through that connection, I found a passion and a desire for mediumship. So I learned and processed how to become a professional medium. And I, I love teaching it. I love my courses. I have two different ones that will help you. If you just want to connect to your loved ones and learn how, I have a course for that. If you want to become a professional medium, oh my God, my course is so awesome. There is so much in that course. Everything I've learned. But I just want you to know, even if I'm not the mentor for you, you can do it. You can become a medium. You can learn mediumship. You can connect to your friends and family. They are not gone from your life. They're not out of reach. They're not gone and out of reach to where you can't talk to them anymore or feel them wrap their arms around you. My mom has felt her mom touch the back of her neck before. Now, my mom doesn't like that. So my mom was like, okay, you got to stop. But my mom's open to it and she knows through me and through life that you can still experience your friends and family on the other side. You can still talk to them. You can still connect to them. You can still have them be a part of everything in your life. Even if you don't have mediumship skills, they're there. They're with you all the time. So don't let anything stop you. If you have a calling in your heart, if you feel something more, if you know that you want to gravitate towards mediumship, you're interested in mediumship, you want to learn how to do mediumship, don't let anything stop you. You can do it. I never had an experience and now I give amazing readings and I feel so alive and so in love with mediumship that I, I just want to share it and shout it to everybody. If you have any questions about my courses, about mediumship, about me, about my experiences, leave them in the comments. I love sharing. I love answering those. And like the video, subscribe if you feel called to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.